let me just start off by saying that there should be light up shoes for adults i'm just throwing it out there and i'm not saying like some weird obscure off brand i'm saying like we should have nikes and adidas for adults that actually light up you can actually see what's around you in case you're in a really dark room and you'll look absolutely badass could you imagine walking in with some light up shoes to i don't know say like an interview i mean i guess you wouldn't wear them to like a wedding or a funeral but you know like 99 percent of the places that you're at you could wear light up shoes just throwing it out there light up shoes for adults you hear to hear first okay anyways all jokes aside in today's video we're gonna get straight into it i want to talk a little bit about something and i kind of already touched on this uh, a while back but i wanted to talk a little bit about accessories when it comes down to the marvel legends line i'm not really going to get too deep into the dc multiverse line because they're completely different you know one is closer to the 112 scale the other one is closer to the 110 scale they're completely different lines completely different sizes and in most cases dc multiverse is using considerably more plastic than a marvel legends line i know some people are saying well it's just about an inch of difference it's only about an inch of extra plastic but you're talking about girth you're talking about width as well and it seems like the volume of plastic that you use is really going to dictate how expensive an action figure is so if the dc multiverse isn't consistently giving us more accessories i completely understand it uh they're at still at that 22.99 price point for a regular dc multiverse action figure and from time to time there are still those figures at that 22.99 price point that still have quite a few accessories so i'm not really going to bash the dc multiverse line too uh too badly because i think they're doing a decent job when it comes to accessories even if they don't include accessories for a particular wave like for example that video game build a figure dark side wave uh that essentially only comes with a build a figure piece uh the action figure and then some really kind of generic uh little effect pieces but i completely understand that because you're talking about seven inch at seven and a half action uh seven and a half inch action figures with some extra uh little effect pieces and then obviously the uh, dark side build a figure so you can get essentially four figures for a hundred dollars and then organic dark side which is you know almost nine inches tall really girthy really beefy i don't think we've ever seen like a marvel legends build a figure be that size so again just in my mind the math adds up a little bit more to the uh to the dc multiverse line especially uh you know the size and everything the price point even if you don't like it even if you're not a big todd mcfarland fan you can understand why uh, i use that reasoning but i wanted to talk a little bit about how a lot of the newer marvel legends action figures are just really weak when it comes down to accessories especially considering you're still paying 24.99 and uh you know which is considerably more than a lot of the other lines we've already talked about jada toys i'm not really going to get too deep into them either but they give us quite a bit you know they usually give us like four hands total an extra uh headpiece or an extra uh, head sculpt as well as an effect piece with a stand for that effect piece that's quite a bit not to mention it has like modern day articulation and all of that uh, along with great packaging so it just makes no sense that they can squeeze a little bit more into their budget i do feel like they're being a little bit cheap and uh, they're holding back when it comes down to accessorize for a lot of these figures and let's take a look at a couple of examples and these are modern day releases you have for example one of the newer marvel legends retro carded a series that got released maybe like a couple of years ago from hasbro this does this did not include a build a figure piece okay these granted a lot of people are going to say well the retro cards look absolutely beautiful they display incredibly well and i guess you can make an argument for that but i don't think that retro cards necessarily or inherently cost more than a regular marvel legends packaging so i'm not even going to take that into account both the ben riley and the chasm action figure were really lacking when it when it comes down to accessories i think chasm only had like some little effect pieces that you could pour it onto like the wrists of the action figure and then the ben riley only came with a couple of extra hands again in my personal opinion that's not really acceptable you're talking about figures you're paying 24.99 for them you're paying more than what you would pay for a dc multiverse action figure and you're paying the same amount that you would pay for a jaded toys action figure and yet you're essentially getting no extra accessories a ben riley maybe you could have done like an unmasked head sculpt or if you didn't want to add any more 
a head sculpt you could have just thrown in a bunch of webbing accessories i feel like personally uh most spider-man action figures especially considering uh, a lot of uh, a lot of the budget usually uh, from a wave a lot of the budget usually goes to the mainline character or the main character of that particular wave and in most cases it's a spider-man action figure ben riley's pretty popular among uh, amongst the community and so you could have easily thrown maybe like six hands total you know three different pairs and a couple of extra webbing accessories same thing with chasm you probably could have done bare minimum an extra couple of hands and there's no excuse here uh, about the build a figure piece right uh, that's kind of uh, a big thing that hasbro fanboys really fall back on they say well it's because of look how amazing the uh, build a figure is in this particular case there was no build a figure i'm not going to accept the argument about the retro carded feature because i personally don't feel like that adds or takes away anything from the figure itself just in my personal opinion i felt like they were uh, really skimping out when it comes down to the accessories that just looks really bad on their end uh, the packaging just doesn't even look like it's you know getting filled up and it was very disappointing for those people that really wanted these figures and in most cases you can actually still find these these are readily available you can actually still order them online from like a lot of these uh, smaller action figure websites and we don't even have to go that far back we do have that new wolverine from that strange tales black heart build a figure wave and that one essentially only comes with some extra hands you have some that have uh, the claws actually retracted with no flames coming out of them and then you have the one that has the claws coming out with uh, the fire effect piece to them which is by the way it's a cool idea it's a cool figure but let's be brutally honest here and let's put on our thinking caps i think that entire body mold is a hundred percent reuse aside for, from the, uh, the, the hands with the claws coming out and the head sculpt. That's it. That's the only new uh, feature that you're getting with this particular action figure. And I have no problem with it. I've said it before. If you're going to reuse body molds, or, or accessories do it wisely and i feel like this is a really good uh this is a really good reuse for hasbro but if you're going to reuse shouldn't that mean that you're kind of saving a few cents here and there and then you should be able to throw it back at the consumer because it continued to support you with a lot of these obscure characters and obscure lines uh this particular wolverine isn't like a mainline wolverine he's not a part of the mcu he's not a big part of like the big comic book runs very few people are going to be familiar with this particular wolverine so it's going to be the people that are really big fans of the comic book universe and people that pick up in everything from hasbro so there's still going to be quite a bit of people that are not going to pick up this figure just based on what they see in the packaging and this is a really big missed opportunity they could have done a couple of different things for this figure maybe some more flame effect pieces we've again they could have used a lot of flame effect pieces they've released quite a few in the in the past that they could have easily just reused and ported them onto like maybe the wrist or the arms just do something uh to little you know to spice up the figure just a little bit and maybe it's not accurate to the source material but it's just giving the consumer even or for their money i'll reiterate these figures are 24.99 dc multiverse action figures for example the first appearance batman which i believe comes with like four hands total a wrench and then i believe like a couple of batarangs and a few other accessories along with a wired cape is going for 22.99 i i don't see how you can balance the scales here i don't see how you're doing math there and not finding out that hasbro is just not giving you enough in terms of accessories i believe there was a spider woman retro carded figure from that particular the same wave that ben riley was from and that one also only came with like a couple of extra hands and look i i get it sometimes some characters it's very difficult to find out exactly what you're going to do in terms of extra accessories i completely get it i mean i'm not really going to bash hasbro for every single figure that doesn't have the extra accessories but i think it's becoming way too consistent and i feel like the more figures especially if it's not from a build a figure wave I feel like they should be adding way more value to those particular characters, especially if they're Spider-Man characters. I mean, I feel like those are the ones that should be getting like the whole nine yards. They should be getting uh, more of the budget, specifically with these retro carded waves that are not getting the build a figure pieces. But uh, that aside, they're not really getting a lot of extra stuff thrown in there. And a lot of them have a bunch of reuse. They're reusing body molds. Um, this particular one, I think they're reusing the female body mold. 
and then maybe just uh, porting on a, 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 a new head sculpt for Spider-Woman. That's really it. I mean, and the trend continues. There was another Spider-Man with the, the one with the jacket that I believe also not only did this have like no modern uh, articulation scheme it was like the most basic articulation for this particular figure they did not want to spend too much money on this uh, on the articulation scheme for this figure and uh that aside again no extra uh accessories i believe this only comes with like a couple of extra hands that's it no webbing accessories no unmasked head sculpt nothing new uh for this particular figure even though i believe it was like the last stand spider-man even though this was a character a lot of people been waiting for this had been teased for quite uh teased for quite some time and unfortunately it was the same of hasbro just not giving enough to the consumer and look i completely understand it if it's an obscure character that not a lot of people are familiar with and you feel like maybe that particular character is not going to sell too well. I get it. You know, don't throw too much into that particular figure. Because even if it ends up going on sale or on clearance, maybe you lose too much money on the back end. But for mainline characters, for characters that people are very familiar with, that there's a giant fan base for, I feel like you should be throwing way more at them. Especially considering there are... Uh, or that your competition is doing the exact opposite of you as you tend to kind of like stray away from including extra access accessories extra head sculpts extra hands the the competition is doing the opposite they're actually throwing more at you now we'll take a look at example for the dc collectors edition line that mcfarland just launched i get it it's a it's a new price point you're paying 29.99 it's kind of a hefty price point but all of these figures are now coming with quite a bit extra, right? Uh, in some cases, they're coming with like six hands total. Uh, you have like interchangeable face plates. I think the Dark Knight Returns has uh, really good paint applications. And then it has like that lamppost accessory, which is something that I don't think we've ever seen from a mainline release, especially from the DC Multiverse. He's really trying to do something a little bit more unique in terms of accessories or extras thrown into these action figures. He's now doing uh, the wired capes, which, you know, I think are supposed to be cheaper uh, in like the long term. But short term, I'm sure that they were expensive to like design and put together. I've said it before, I think the plastic weighs less and this, I don't know the math there, but the wire capes appear to be cheaper. But the engineer work or the, the, the investment up front, I'm sure was more than just keeping the plastic capes. But he's willing to do that to give a little bit more to the consumer and to keep them coming back for more. And I think Hasbro is really missing out on that. I've actually floated the idea of doing a deluxe line, not just bigger action figures, but just action figures with extra accessories. We kind of saw this with the Spider-Verse Spider-Man 2.0 which came with a bunch of like webbing accessories and things of that nature. That one was going for $35. It was kind of a big uh, miss for a lot of fans because it was a little bit up there in price and it really didn't come with too much. But if they're able to find that balance, maybe a deluxe line at $30, similar to what they did with that Black Widow not too long ago with that white suit that came with like an action figure stand and a bunch of blast effect pieces. They're able to do something like that, maybe an unmasked Spider-Man, maybe like six hands total a bunch of webbing accessories maybe do it for like punisher include like a shotgun some hand pistols a rifle a sniper you know things of that nature with an extra head sculpt same thing with iron man you throw an unmasked tony stark head maybe like six hands total a bunch of different repulsor blast effect pieces maybe green goblin has an unmasked head sculpt and then uh maybe a couple of different gliders to choose from maybe a couple of different weapons i'm just throwing it out there i feel like accessories should really be a mainstay of all of these lines they have to add more especially considering they're reaching the bottom of the barrel here okay they've given they've given us like all the mainline characters all the main ones They've given us the main Batmans, the main Spider-Mans. Now it's about like adding more, you know, more variety, adding a little bit more value to each to each individual figure, especially because a lot of these are much, much deeper cuts. But again, this is just my personal opinion, my personal take. I feel like Hasbro may be one of those lines that is really falling behind in terms of accessories. And it's time that like the community as a whole kind of like hold accountable for that. So only time will tell maybe they'll start to kind of ramp it up it feels like they have a formula in place and they're just sticking to that but 
like I said, only time will tell. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you guys feel like they're throwing enough in, uh, throwing in enough accessories for their action figures, or do you feel like they could improve on that? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys like this type of content, make sure to stay tuned. We do upload nonsense like this pretty consistently. As always, stay safe out there and enjoy the hobby. Pose them, photograph them, just have fun with your action figures. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.